Hello guys and girls, this is Billy Giatas for All Hispano Leather Crafts and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a leather cover for a book or a journal or a diary or really for anything like that. I'm gonna use the pattern I saw on my website. This is for an A5 book. Oh, and as you can see these are the pieces for two patterns, for, for two journal covers because I'm gonna have to make two today. So let's get started. Alright, these are all the pieces for two uh, patterns. The big ones, uh, these ones, are a little piece in the corner that's for holding cards or little papers. These of course are the straps for closing the journal. These two are the pen loops. And of course the main body is the bigger piece here. And the two pieces I still have to cut out here are the inside sleeves that keep the first and last page of the book in the cover. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is cut these pieces and then before doing anything else I'm gonna do the laser engraving I have to do in, this part, in these uh, covers. So if you wanna do any engraving in the leather with your laser or by hand or if you just wanna stamp something in the leather, now is the time to do it before doing anything else. So yeah, I'm gonna just do that quickly now and see you in a bit. So while the laser is running in the background, we're just gonna start prepping all the smaller pieces like the closer strap or the pen loop. Uh, what I mean by that is we're gonna bevel the edges and slick them and make the pieces nice and finished before we can assemble them. Because beveling the edges of these pieces after assembly is not really easy, so we're just gonna do it now in advance. So a quick tip on what we need to bevel and what not. So the closer strap, just bevel it all the way around because that's what we have to do. The pen loop, how this is going to be installed is if this is like the assembly form, it's gonna be folded like this on the long side in half. And it's gonna be stitched into the leather here. That means we need to bevel the two long sides of the square and also what you can do is um, sky the leather here and here on the short sides so it just lays a little bit flatter and makes for a nicer finish here on, on the stitch. And for the inside part we have to bevel these two sides, the insides. This is gonna be attached or installed like that. The outside edges are gonna be beveled later. So for now we wanna bevel and slick the inside edges. Oh, and also we have to bevel these edges, the inside edges of the uh, two flaps. The outside edges are gonna be beveled at the end together with the main body. But these two, inside and out, need to be beveled now before assembly. Right, as you can see, all pieces are now cut out and all the edges that need to be beveled before the assembly have been beveled. Also, we've punched the holes for the closure strap. Now, before we do any stitching or gluing, we need to install the closure strap. So, as you see, we have the holes already in the closure strap as well as in the main body. So. What I'm gonna do is get a couple of copper rivets and install them with the flat side from the outside. 
them through the main body. Install the flanges. So, as you can see, now the rivets are installed. Now you just have to snip them off and hammer them flat uh, on an anvil or something like that. So, let me just do the other journal too. Okay, now the closure strap is attached as you can see with the copper rivets. Now what we need to do is install the snap rivet on the other side. So, so not snap rivet, the, the snap fastener. So we can actually close the journal. Okay, as you can see now, we have the closer strap and the main body attached together on both of the journals we are making today. Now the next step is to glue the insides into the main body and then to stitch it together. So the way we're doing this is with the closer strap on our right and the rivets, which is our back side, we have to apply glue to the inside edges here so we can install the flaps. It's important not to forget the pen loop, which has to be glued closed like that and then into the side here together with the side flap. And then finally we will glue this flap here to the corner here. So let's just get started with that. And after that we punch all the stitching holes and then we can do the stitching and then the finishing of the corners. So yeah, let's just get started. So a quick tip for when gluing leather together, especially if you glue like the outside, the slick side to the outside, but it can be also helpful when gluing the inside, the flesh side to the flesh side, is to just use your scratch all, or there are also spe special little metal brushes, to rough up the leather where you're gonna use the glue. This just makes uh, the glue stick a little bit better and get into the leather fibers and just makes gluing easier and better. So just go all along the edge here and it also shows you where you need to apply the glue. I'm just going to use the piece here to mark how far I need to go. And here on the corner where we are going to install the corner, we're going to also rough it up a little bit especially on the slick side of the leather it's really helpful to do this if you just leave it flat the glue won't have anything to grab onto so it's very helpful to do that and here especially this piece which is gonna go in the corner
Now that we have prepped all the pieces, what we can do is apply the glue to both sides of the leather, which are gonna be glued together, and then just stick them together and let them dry for a bit before we start punching the holes. Now to clarify one point, if you're using my pattern, you can also just punch the holes that are marked in the pattern, and then you don't need to do all the gluing. You can just start stitching together. Now a quick note, before gluing the leathers, uh, the inside flaps onto the main body is remember that we beveled one of the edges of the leather. You want this edge, the beveled edge, to be towards the inside of the main body, not towards the outside. Okay, now both both journal covers are glued together. Now before we start punching the stitching holes, we have to do one more thing. Here for example, the main body on the inside is a little bit larger than the flap. And yeah, you know, all the little spots that are not perfectly aligned between the glued together parts. Uh, Let's just use a sharp blade and cut off the excess, the excess amount of leather, so that all the edges line up quite nicely. Right now we have all the edges lined up pretty much perfectly. We're just gonna use this corner punch here, or a blade, and round all the four corners of the journal. If you have the pattern, you can just use the radius from the pattern. Otherwise, just eyeball it. Just go all the way around. Okay, all the corners are rounded and now it's time to mark the stitching line using this tool we always use. And of course, just here on the sides, on the flaps, you don't need to go to stitch all the way around here. I mean, if you want, you can. It can be like a decorative stitch, but I'm gonna just stitch around the flaps here. Now, very important detail. As you can see with the stitching line, I'm arriving at the closer strap now, and so I don't punch holes into my strap. It's important to put like a scrap piece of leather like this between the closer strap and the main body, just like that. And be careful with how strong you punch. Take it slow, small light taps, so you don't go all the way through the main body, the scrap piece, and into your strap. That would not look nice from the outside. Slide taps, lift up, I see I'm through, so I'm not going any further. 
same thing on the next piece through perfect and as we can see i'm now past the strap so i can just keep going with a punch now also another thing to notice at this part here with the pencil uh, loop be a little careful so you don't punch too sideways because the leather is thicker here than on the other sides so just be careful so you punch straight enough so you go through all four layers of leather here all right all the holes have been punched into the two journal covers Got the first one here and yeah, let's just start stitching. Right guys, number one and number two of the journal covers are stitched together and one last thing remains is to make the edges nice and smooth. Now they're still pretty rough but we're ju just gonna use the edge beveler and the edge slicker with a bit of wax paste and we're gonna make them nice and shiny. Now the edge looks much nicer than before. But we still have one more thing to do. On this specific journal cover, the customer requested for me to wax the surface in order to waterproof it and make it more durable. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna use this wax paste here I made myself. I'm just gonna melt it with uh, the heat gun and rub it in with this cloth here. So let's do that. <laughs> Alright guys, both journal covers are ready, I hope yours turned out well too. And as I said, there will be a link in the description where you can get the pattern for free, at least for a limited time. And there will be another link to a Facebook group where if you like you can share whatever you made from my patterns or whatever you made in general and just ask questions or answer questions other people might have. 
and yeah you know like subscribe maybe turn on the notifications if you like the videos and want to see more i guess that's it yeah and i guess that's it see you in the next one bye